Good morning. Happy October 5th. Oh, my dollar store lipstick. This stuff will stay on all day, but boy, I warn you guys, if you ever buy this stuff, give yourself a good 20 or 30 minutes to get it off your teeth. It's like, uh, anyways, enough of that. Good morning. It's a beautiful day. Happy October 5th. I got my pink t-shirt on, my pink lipstick on, ready to mow that yard. But first, I want to say hi to two of you in particular. Brandy, welcome, and Amy. Welcome, Brandy. I got a comment yesterday, and Brandy was asking me if she could still join the October group. Of course, all the way up until October 31st. Join, join, join. And Brandy, I think you're number 50, so hello. Um, number 50, I think there's 50 of us. The more, the brighter. We can shine lights and shine, um, illuminate each other's path. Help each other up. Keep going. Ecclesiastes 4.9. Amen. Also, Amy, I'm going to fill pink, 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 pink. I'm going to fill this up, head outside, sit on a little bench in my backyard and um, respond to your email. Here we go. If I could get up in there and we could hang out. All right. Bible, laptop, swing set, steering wheel. Look at those basketball goals. We got them out of, we got them out of, we got those out of um, Mississippi State University. They used to be their practice goals. Never mind, no internet out here. Okay, change of plans. My response to Amy is gonna be linked below so that I can record that response to Amy and anybody else that wants to hear it and not be concerned about keeping it inside this 10 minute time frame. Lunch, fruit, vegetable, protein, and fat. 2.5 ounces of natural peanut butter. I made a bunch of guacamole and I would love to stuff myself with a big bag of tortilla chips. No, tally. And I just ate my whole lunch. It was delightful, you saw it. Banana, peanut butter, and tomatoes. Then I fed my family lunch and all seven of us were together under one roof at the same time and with teenagers that rarely happens it was lovely and beautiful and then my brain okay imagine this like a conversation dialogue and a play my brain colon let's eat another lunch me colon no no brain no tally that vacuum is kind of loud but i sure don't want to tell franklin to stop vacuuming check this out this is so good 40 day Bible study on emotional eating. Freedom from emotional eating by Barb Raveling. It is so in depth. Excuse me, grasshopper. While I put this electric fence right there, you're gonna wanna move. Trust me on this. What? What is it? What are y'all staring at? My goodness, I was not sure how this daily vlog was going to end. I just had a moment where so much stress in my life felt like it all came to a head which those times can feel very overwhelming. Um, and the overwhelm can then sort of manifest into depression and anxiety. And I, my kids are on fall break. They're all around me. There's so much going on with the farm right now. Um, there's so much going on in the world right now it's so important that we stay focused on truth and clarity because it can be a very, very quick descent into darkness and confusion. And I'm telling you, it was sort of like the perfect storm of stress. And I, you saw the little grasshopper about 
20 minutes after that, my son and I were making some real good, real good progress on the fence outside and the bottom fell out and it started pouring down raining so hard and so quickly. I thought about getting my camera out and saying, um, showing you the rain and saying, you know, now is probably not the time to be working on an electric fence, but I didn't. I just came in and wanted to sneak off to the shower. We have one bathroom. I was about to get in the shower and my 14 year old son needed the shower because he was going somewhere. I gave him the shower. I finally got in the shower and I kid you not, maybe 17 times a kid knocked on the door, um, needed me. You know, you know how it goes. And the whole thing felt almost meant to be. It was almost like God was pressing me to the point where I finally turned to him. And I'm so happy to report E&I that I expressed instead of ingested. I expressed my emotion and my feelings. And I want you to know that while I was in the shower, I wanted to pray to God and hand it to him, but I didn't even know what to say. And I was reminded of Romans 8, 26 and 27. And that says here, In the same way the Spirit helps us in our weakness, we do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. And He, he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with God's will. Which leads right into Romans 8, 28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. In Romans 31, what then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? The spirit himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. That scripture came to mind when I was in the shower and I almost felt locked up. Like there was so much inside of me, so tangled. It's, a, it's as if my gears lock and I just prayed, Lord, I don't even know what to pray. And I know he heard me and I knew the spirit interceded. And when I got off of there, excuse me, when I got, when I got off of there, when I got off the phone with God, when I got out of there and I was finally able to talk with my husband, I sat with him and he sat with me and we both shared how much is on both of us right now. And I cried and it was wonderful. And I showed him the clip of my video earlier, my response to Amy, where I talk about how we, he and I are both realizing if we're not careful, we'll be aimless. And it's so important to be obedient and allow God to set our goals so that we can aim and move towards them. My point is, I did not ingest, I did not turn to food, and that is a miracle because I've got stuff going on right now that is similar to what I had going on in May, June, and July, and I relapsed hard. Express, not ingest. I'm so happy to report that's exactly what I did tonight by the grace of God. You guys, I love you dearly. I am headed to get my family two Meat Lover's Pizzas from Papa John's. I'm also headed to make a big bowl of deliciousness, Kurt, not slop. Kurt, it's a bowl, it's a bright bowl of deliciousness. Kurt, Jill told me her husband saw her make a big bowl of deliciousness and he was like, what is that? It looks like slop. It's a bright bowl of nutrition. I'm gonna toss a bunch of stuff in a bowl and eat it. Yes, it sounds a little sloppish but it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be just what I need to continue doing what I'm doing, which is following both Jesus Christ and Brightline Eating. Good night, you guys. I love you dearly. I will see you on October 6th. Okay, come to think of it, I kinda of do wanna call this slop. Squash, Brussels sprouts, corn, some old tomatoes, 14 ounces of slop. I'm liking that. Slop. Satiating leftover perfection. Two ounces of marinara, half an ounce of nutritional yeast. Meat and cheese and in the microwave for three minutes. My appetizer. Good night, I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow.